their bones and legs. Hello, Internet. Welcome to real life. Internet, welcome to real life. Hello, real life. Welcome to the Internet. Yeah, I noticed I've been inconsistent with that. Usually I say, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Internet. But then I started, I think, to say, hello, Internet. Welcome to real life. And whatever. Just realized I'm carrying like a basketball. It is possible. Okay, so welcome to my garage. Uh, normally I have a canopy here, but it's winter time, so I took it down. But these are my bikes. Behind curtain number one, guess. Behind curtain number two, guess. Behind curtain number three, guess. You could figure it out. Smallest cover, mediumest cover, most biggest cover. And this is the bike I'm getting out today, and I gotta get with my, oh, my helmet, <laughs> that's what it's for protect me anyway yeah so i wasn't gonna record i was doing this today i was like well i'm gonna have the helmet on why not just record it and i guess take you with today i'm taking this bike to get a tire change why why because it's 32 degrees no 33 degrees which means it's not freezing which means it's nice out which means it's time to get the bikes ready now over the past month i've been doing like maintenance between the bikes getting them ready for the spring last thing that has to be done before these bikes are ready to go is this rear tire this is going to be by the way two miles in this video going to the shop which is literally a mile away and i'm going to ride that on a flat because it's my back road and it's fine but this is the tire i used to have this is my second favorite tire pilot trail max mission my favorite tire is the one on this bike right here but i, I strapped it down it's the Pirelli Diallo Rossi 3. I'm too, I'm not, I'm not too lazy to show you. Screw it, I'm right here. I just gotta and do all my nice work. Okay, okay, okay. While these gloves are warm, they're super fat and hard to use the fingers on. This tire, that uh, is the sexiest tire there is. Isn't that cool? I have a ring on my finger. It looks just like this tire. And then this one is very cool too. Anyway, when I got this bike, I put this one on, blew it, I got a possum nail, like right in one of those treads. And then I uh, put on this spare. And then I put on the original, I think it's Shinko 804, I can't remember, uh, off-road tire. And then that one got a screw in it, went back to the spare, right? This is like a road tire, but I wanted a 50-50. I still have my front Pilot Trail Max Mission up here. Different tread pattern, but the same tire pair. Um, tread on this one's still fine. So I'm putting this one back on, even though my guess is it will not last its natural life. Something will break this tire, I hope not. And then this one, yeah, this one, if I remember, had a screw as well. And then I pulled it and I plugged it. So this one deflates slowly, but it does deflate. It's been sitting here for months. So it's certainly flat by now. I will say before I take off here, I realized because this bike's been sitting for so long that it, and it's been below zero for so long, it probably won't start. I was like, I bet it will start, but I don't want to record the video and then find out the bike won't start and I'm stuck here. So this morning I turned it on and it did fire right up and then pfft, died. I was like, okay. So I turned it on, it turned right on. I kept a little bit of throttle on for about 30 seconds and it was fine. So this thing, despite spewing a bunch of smoke and making me smell like gasoline, started right up and it's awesome. Now, because we're not going far and I'm not that fat. Actually, it's just because this tire is huge. This is how I'm going to carry it. Normally, like, when I do tire changes, I'll, like, strap them, but it's just one. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to be really hard. It's on center stand. This is in the way. I'm Michelin tire size. <laughs> we should measure people based on tire sizes. Hey, what size are you? I'm a 150, 155. This is one of those coin-operated bikes. You sit there and do 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 I have got to cool down. This has got to warm up. Well, that honestly struggled a tiny bit, but it wasn't bad otherwise. I'm gonna keep a little bit of throttle on it for like 15 seconds. Tiny bit of throttle here. And then I'll let it sit for another minute or two, maybe five if I'm very good before I scoot this thing. Man, I gotta say, getting this bike in here sucked because, whoa, because um, flat tire, there was mud out there. This bike's like 600 pounds and I, I like wheeled it back through that narrow and oh, it sucked to get it back here. But um, now I can use horsepower to wheel it out. And then when I get a tire on it, it won't be as bad. But backing it in here is always hard. Is that the time? Is it 1246? I can't get to my watch. Yeah, I can. No, it's 1146. The 
time zone daylight savings time has changed i guess since last time i rode this okay it's been a couple minutes i'm not gonna be hard on the throttle anyway here we go whoa it felt good for just half a second then half a second i was like no it's flat oh 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 these are normal sounds to make don't worry oh this bike is so cool man hell yeah oh that didn't feel good yeah i can feel that all right so we're gonna do our hazmat mazard mode i'm gonna scoot poot putt along seriously it's like a mile of this on roads kind of like this so we'll be fine there's a guy at work he rides like an electric bicycle six miles to work every morning and I'm like, dude, man, if you could do that, why aren't I riding my electric motorcycle to work? It's because my cheap, wonderful car, like, costs almost nothing to drive, and that's hecka warmer. Badass. Anyone out riding their bicycle or motorcycle when it's 20 below, that's what it's been all week. And the week before was about freezing, so I've just been out in the freezing cold. <laughs> so we're just going to do a slow race like this. Um, <laughs> I'm guessing it'll be five minutes to get there. <laughs> so... <laughs> This is such a short trip, but it's going to be made longer by the fact that I'm going super slow to be safe. I could have put some air in the rear tire really quick with my portable pump. That would have been smartest. But I was like, it's, it's like, what? I think I, I can just hobble a mile. And I, I was wrong about how far it was. I said to myself, it's a quarter mile. But I, was, I thought, I better look. No, I was wrong. It's a mile. Well, still, it's not far. I'm just going to hobble on back roads like this. I'll be fine. And you know, this tire here, it's like a back brace. It's, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Oh yeah. I thought about taking a sidewalk, but I don't need to. I'm not really going to impede anybody's progress anyway. There's a motorcycle. What are the odds of that? I bet he came from the shop I was at. What is that? It looks like a zero, but it can't be. It's too small. No? It's like a 125 bike of some kind. Oh, we're a slow fat boy. It's like playing fat boy from Halo 3 custom games. I'm just slow and like a tank. Okay, there's a car. Let me get over a little bit. You could totally pass. You got all the room in the world. He's coming up very slowly, or he's keeping his distance. I'm just, come on, you got, you got all the room in the world. We're going a crisp, what am I doing, 15? I'm going like 12, 12, 13, max 15. That's such a cool thing about this bike is that it can lug in low gear very smoothly. I love that it can crawl, it's so nice. The only other bike I have that can do that is the Zero, and even then, this one, I think just does a better job of it. It's kind of nice. Just a really slow motorcycle ride. We're here at Smithers Customs. I've been coming here for years. I've had so many of my bikes done up by him and I like to do local small businesses. So he's my guy. And that was the most boring part of my trip, which is saying something because I had a good time, but it only gets better from here. Oh, yeah. What's up? You got your uh, tire back here? It's on the bike, yeah. I know you can move it back here yourself, but do you want help? No. Okay. It's a big, big boy. It's just so fat. It is. It and is. it sucks to push on a flat. So, I mean, uh, oh, that's... Flat. Oh, I did not know. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let me move a couple things. Yeah. Almost noon. I'll just get you done first. Okay. Like I said, it's no rush, but like... I know. I mean, I got so much... to move everything out of the way okay you want to go nose in or butt in or you still have to think either way all right we'll do nose in okay anything exciting going on to this okay taking the moped oh man you put me on the spot <sighs> you made that so much easier. Well, that's annoying. Kieran caught one of my pant holes. Yeah. And I gotta do a little puzzle here to figure it out. <laughs> there. <laughs> you don't want to put anything in here? Oh, I do actually. I'm gonna go pick up a drink. It's just like without any. You don't have to. When it's in, you just turn it. You, and then left. Yep. Awesome. Okay, you showed me that before, but I forgot, so I wanted to ask. I put gas in it, and it's, it's ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. Um, just call whenever, and then I'll come back. Okay. 
Okay. Not to put you on the spot, but just so I know and can plan accordingly, how long do you think? Um, it's noon. I would say, I'd say by, you know, around 2 o'clock probably. Okay. That is fine. All right, thanks. I'll see you in a bit. All right, this is the... No, no, no. I am dressed for it, but no. I don't want that phone call that I need to get you out of. No, well, you know what the phone call of this thing being totaled. Like, no, my moped! Yeah, no, I don't care about the moped. Sure you do. This thing is awesome. <laughs> and now this is the most fun part of the day. This is the part I was looking forward to. It's like a super, super secret surprise. Look at my silhouette. Surprise. Tiny baby man. Whoa! <laughs> so... He's changed our tires before and he goes, hey, we're gonna borrow that. I'm like, I guess. I got on and I was like, this is the best thing in the world. Thank you. And so now when I got a tire change, I take this thing home, which gives you I'm like a mile away, so who cares? But I was like, to take advantage of this and have a little bit more fun, I'm gonna go to the gas station and pick up a drink on the way home for funsies. So we're gonna take a slightly longer way home. What was that glass? I'm not gonna touch that. I don't think this thing has a plate. Pretty. Wait, does it? I can't tell. I can't see back there. <laughs> I've said before, I don't know if it's in the video, like a Moto Monday or something, I said motorcycles are your family when you're out riding a motorcycle. Other motorcycles are your family. Mopeds are the retarded cousin. But boy, is it fun! Because <laughs> it's just screaming. It's like struggling so hard to go. Ah! What I think makes it funny is I'm in full leathers. Like if I was in a one piece leather suit in an aggressive position like this, that would make it the funniest. Ah! <laughs> I'll tell you what though, if this thing were street legal, and maybe it is, I don't know, I, I forgot. If I had something like this that was street legal and was super hella cheap, hell yeah, I'd own one. Like screw it, I don't care. Uh oh, okay, now we gotta, now we're on the spot. We gotta go max to meet the speed limit. Cars are catching up. We are full throttling it. We're gonna lean in like this. <laughs> Are we there yet? We're, we're like 38. I'm, I'm literally max throttle right now. I think we're there. We're 40. We are going the speed limit. <laughs> that confused look was all I wanted in life. All right, 35. Now that now the moped gets a break. You noble steed. This is like donkey. If I had a moped, I think I'd name it donkey. It's like the little noble steed. All right. I'm bummed that it's almost over already. Dang, dude. Burp, 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 burp. This is where I usually park the e-bike. Can this thing make it up there? Oh man, I don't know. Actually, I think it can. Sure can. No problem. All right, great. Where's the kickstand? It has one, right? It's a fork. That's right. There is no side stand. Hold on a second. Grab this man my jam on. Push this thingy. You're done. Oh, I love it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a drink. <sighs> Thank you. Feels weird to be out here in the cold all dressed up like this because I feel like I'm grabbing a drink because I feel like I'm about to go to work. But no, very no. Today is a day for errands and other such things. But yeah, I've been really busy at work and I want to make more videos. Aside from the cold, the cold doesn't bother me so much, honestly. So that's not really an excuse. I mean, it's a little bit of an excuse, but the thing is I'm just spending so much time at work. So when I got a day like today, I was like, oh yeah to get on the bike and then I realized oh I may as well just record it and this video might suck hopefully not but who knows maybe it'll be fun I don't know what you guys think I'm having fun I guess that's what's important you know what because I don't want to go home and I feel like I can do whatever I want <laughs> I want to go play around over here really quick Ooh, I would take the zero over there but I'm not taking the moped because if that's soft this thing could get stuck or slip, and I don't want to mess up his moped. I don't want to get dirty either, so I'm going to try to avoid that. Anyway, uh, this uh, was a lumber yard. I used to come here as a kid, and like everything, as an adult versus when you were a kid, it feels a lot smaller. I remember there used to be a booth right here. I'd stop at this booth, check in, dad makes small talk, make the guy laugh. We come back here, it's so much different now, but there'd be like shelves of wooden stuff. I want to go back there, but I'm gonna mess up his moped. 
This thing kicks ass though. I've become far more open and accepting of different kinds of motorcycles and stuff as I get older. I was very set in my ways, which is kind of ironic because as you get older, typically you get more set in your ways in general. But as it's come to automotive, I've become far more open to, oh, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, everything is cool. I'm sure there was a time when I'd say, I don't even want to try a moped, but now I'm like, sure, man, I'll try. And then like most things, automotive wise, my try, I'm like, this is great. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go home like I was planning to, and since the bike's gonna be a while, I'll resume the video when I go pick up the bike so you can see that full journey of the tire change, I guess. You wanna go? Sucker, you wanna go? I will fight you. I am on a moped. I do not fear death. I obviously have nothing to lose, and there's nothing more dangerous than a man with nothing to lose. Check out this bank. <laughs> I also love the analog clicking noise of the turn signal here. Let me get close to the dash so you can hear it. I don't know what that noise was, but just that noise. It's like I'm turning as hard as I can. It would be funny if this thing was like five times louder. It's just so loud and so slow. That being said, I think this thing is about as loud as it's going to get. It has an aftermarket exhaust. Okay. Let's go pack in the garage. That was a little bit harder than I thought it would be. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I tried to pick my hand up to pick my visor up, and then I took my hand off. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go in that spot. <laughs> it makes me so happy. Tell you what, if I ever have money to like spend on automotive crap that I don't need, this is probably gonna be near the top, except for the fact that I have the zero. By the way, that one's the zero, if you're wondering which one's which, I never said. You could have deduced though, because of that tire, but. That one does what this one does, but better. But this thing is just so fun. I oh, keep forgetting there's no side stand. Okay. I love how simple that is compared to the stupid <sighs> BMW. When I bring the BMW back, I'm going to try to put it on center stand. You'll see me struggle. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. I'll come back and resume the video when I go get the bike. And we'll, we'll wrap it up in one, one thingy. Why can't I speak English? I just got the TXT that the bike is ready for me. Oh yeah, I never checked the plate. There is a plate. Good. It's, it's legal. It's legal. Again, another one of these rides. Oh, I wish I could just roll. Actually, I probably can. Check this out. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the noise that gets me. Ooh, it's cold. Okay, so I'm not wearing my duds. I mean, I'm wearing my... My duds, but not my motorcycle duds. Cause just going up the street. I got my helmet and gloves. That's the important thing. It is, whoa, very cold, but eh. Yeah, what is it now? 40? Oh, my watch is covered. It's probably 40 degrees. Why didn't I zip up my coat all the way? What we need to do is get like a megaphone on the end of that exhaust. I think I'm on the wrong side. I know I was right. I just can't see it. Put a megaphone on the end of that exhaust to make it even louder. A literal electronic megaphone. <laughs> That's so by me. And I'm not letting them pass. <laughs> it's so funny going between this and then the fat boy. The biggest bike ever to like the smallest one. A Grom is the smallest. This isn't a motorcycle, but it's still really small. But the difference is funny. This is my second favorite part right here is revving it. <laughs> oh, I'll wait for this car. You can balance this thing pretty easily. Look at that. What the heck? I thought my wait. Do I know who that is? No way. I know who has that bike. That's crazy. New customer. Yeah. I know who that is. Yeah, she, works she works at Cycle Gear, and I recommended her to you. Did you? Cool. Yeah. You're getting the Dyno or the what's it called? Power Commander. Thank you, Power Commander. Yeah. That's how you. Uh... That's how it's done. Yeah, exactly. I don't have a tie. There's a reason why I don't advertise. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do. Yeah. You know, I like nice stuff. And well, that's something I, I knew, like, oh, I know you'll do that, and I know he'll... Perfect. I appreciate it, man. Awesome. Forgot to ask and say, what did you set the tire pressure for? Six. What do you want? That's, that's what I wanted. Okay. Nice. I'm just going to guess, then hope that the front is fine. It's been sitting for months. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll check it. Okay. Yeah, by the time I actually ride it, it's going to change again, so it's not like it's really important to check now. As long as it can ride home safely is all. Oh, man. The old 6R, yeah. Yeah. The, the, 
Yeah, the Zixer. That is a real carbon fiber. Oh, I can tell, but I mean, <laughs> that's not the point. It's just a custom Zixer with colors I like. I'm like, wow. The 28. Oh, thank you. 36? Yeah, just please. Well, let me give you money before I move the bike. Money's good. Big plans? No, not at all. What about you? <laughs> No, not right now. No, nothing yet. Just working for a living. Yep, me too. Oh, well, I was speaking for you, but that is that is true for me as well. All right, well, thank you again. I'm sure I'll come up with more crap for you to do. <laughs> thank you. I'll see ya. Thanks for letting me borrow that again. It's always fun. Anytime, anytime. One time you'll have to take the boost up. <laughs> if you'll let me, sure. Right. Awesome. Oh, this feels good. Oh, buddy. That is a proper fat boy bike. I'm not, I want to just rip it, but I'm not gonna because the engine's been like, you know, sitting, but Oh, yeah, man. A little caution here. It is very cold. The tire is new. If I were to have one bike, if I had to get rid of two of them, I'd keep the Super Duke because it's the most special and cool. But the one I use the most is the Zero because it just fits my riding style and then it's like a little workhorse and a commuter and a grocery getter But the best bike I have is this one. This is the best bike. It does the most things the best It has the most stat points. So three very different ish Motorcycles they all have their use. They're all they're all the best in some way. Moral of the story is this bike is awesome oh, oh. So easy to ride though